Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. An outbreak of sea lice has been reported in Florida's beaches. Now, these lice leave the skin itchy, bumpy, and red after a quick dip in the ocean, and here's what's known so far about this outbreak. Recently, lifeguards in Pensacola, Florida, reported some mild cases of sea lice and hoisted purple flags to warn beachgoers. In serious cases, people can experience flu-like symptoms such as fever, headache, chills, and nausea in addition to the red and itchy rash. Now, sea lice, despite the name, is not actually lice. It's a rash caused by miniature larvae of marine life like jellyfish or sea anemones. The term refers to the condition caused by the larva stings, more accurately called sea bather's eruption. Pressure and friction on the jellyfish larva cause the stinging cells known as nematocysts to fire and trigger a reaction on the skin. The rash is not life-threatening nor will it be likely to cause serious side effects but care should be taken to mitigate the itching and pain if stung by sea lice or other jellyfish the national institute of health recommends applying vinegar to the skin to prevent further discharge of unfired nematocysts people stung can treat the rash with antihistamines and over-the-counter hydrocortisone creams wow this sounds like uh, ticks and uh, lyme's disease my goodness, folks, so beware of this if you're on the beaches in Florida. This pestilence called uh, uh, sea lice, which actually is larva of other sea creatures. I will leave you a link to this. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share it if you feel so led to. And artificial intelligence, weird weather, pestilence, spiritual warfare, politics, gun control, and more. It's all in my must-read book, Light, a Wayfarer story, available in Kindle and paperback and linked below. It's fiction, or is it? But most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.